Trax Gallery and Gifts started in, I opened in March of 2020, which if anyone remembers, that was a, not a great time to start a business, but it worked out. Um, so when I opened, I was in the Emporia Main Street incubator space, um, which that is a program that they do to help businesses get started and then um, and then graduate out of that space. Um, so what that program is, is it's an 18 month program. The first six months, you don't pay any rent. The next chunk of six months, you pay um, $400 a month for rent. And then the last bit, you pay $800 a month for rent, which is still pretty inexpensive for downtown Emporia. Um, so yeah, that really gives you a chance to kind of get all of your ducks in a row, like um, establish your client base um, uh, without having the, you know, restrictions of, of you know, rent. Um, and that worked out especially good for me because I did open in March of 2020. So um, I opened my doors on March 6th and then on March 20th, um, COVID really hit and the world was like, shut those doors, you know? So, um, so I had to close. Um, but that really gave me a chance to get my website going. Um, I also had a ton of people that were looking for jigsaw puzzles, which was something that I had like a very small section of. Um, but everyone was like banging down my doors trying to get puzzles because they knew they were going to be stuck at home, you know? And so I was able to place a giant puzzle order um, and once that got there, I was like Emporia's little like puzzle dealer, you know, um, I would do porch drop-offs and I had pickup times. Um, and that was really how I got through like the first few months of, of COVID was selling puzzles. Um, and then I started also selling face masks. And so that once we were able to open the doors again, that was a product that everyone needed. Um, and so it brought a lot of people through my doors that maybe wouldn't have otherwise. Um, and then they became you know, customers to this day. So what inspired you to start your entrepreneurial journey? So I graduated from Emporia State in 2014. Um, and right quickly after I graduated, I started working at the Emporia Arts Center, um, which is a wonderful organization. I was the gallery manager and education coordinator. So two kind of very different jobs, but um, both something, you know, that I was very passionate about. Um, I worked there for six years, um, and then during that time, I also started the Emporia First Friday Art Walk um, with my partner, Joel. Um, we did that in 2016, um, but really, like, I just saw, especially with the popularity of Emporia First Friday and all of these artists, like, making work, um, I just saw a need for another brick-and-mortar location for artists to sell their work. Um, the Art Center has, like, um, a small gift shop and like a huge art gallery and it's the most beautiful space but because the gift store is so small they can't you know handle the volume of artists that were coming in it seemed like every day an artist was coming in being like hey I make this cool thing can I sell it here and it was like Ugh, you know there just isn't enough room so um, when I decided to leave the art center and open trucks, like I, I knew that I already had a, you know at least 30 to 40 artists who were ready to start selling at that moment. And so that's what we did. What were some of the biggest challenges that you faced getting started? Let's see, some of the biggest challenges. Um, I think, I mean, first and foremost, like it's just kind of scary to open your own business and, and start from scratch and, um, you know, kind of take that plunge, but um, it was very rewarding. Um, and so I'm really glad I did it. Um, but I think, you know, a lot of people don't realize, like, you just have to kind of like figure out a lot of stuff um, real fast. And um, I'm really thankful that I started a business in Emporia because there is a huge network of people who want to help you in Emporia. Every um, business owner that I reached out to and I was like, hey, you know, what point of sale system are you using? Why do you love it? Why do you hate it? Everyone was very open to, you know, talking with me about all of those things and helping me get started. So there's a lot of resources out there to help you figure out those scary things. Absolutely. Do you think that's also a really big benefit of starting a business in rural Kansas? I think so. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, I've only started one business and it was here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I do think that just that sense of community and especially downtown, like the downtown community is very welcoming and inviting and, you know, they want to see everyone succeed. So, you know. 
Knowing what you know now, would you have done anything differently when you were getting started? I mean, I guess, no, I don't think so. I wouldn't do anything differently. I um, really love how Trox has grown and progressed over the years and how it's become like kind of a staple of our community. And um, I'm just really proud of that. I'm really proud of all the artists who have, um, you know, kind of gotten their start and, you know, been able to evolve their work and, and really progress in their craft. And so I'm, I don't think I would do anything differently. And what have you enjoyed most about running your business? I think the thing that I've enjoyed most is just being able to say yes to the projects that I want to say yes to. Um, uh, working at the Art Center was amazing and I loved it, but there were just certain restrictions um, with you know, what we could do, what we could show, what there was money for. And so now that I'm kind of out on my own, um, I feel like I'm just able to do, I mean, not do whatever I want to do, but like if I'm passionate about something and I want to do it, I'm going to find the resources. I'm going to, you know, gather the people that I know can help me do it and I'm going to get it done. And that I think is the, is the most rewarding thing about, you know, having your own business is that you can, you can pick what you want to do and what you don't want to do just really take pride in, in what you accomplish. Oh my goodness. That was such an amazing answer. Well, I'm going to ask you one more question here that's not on our list then. Uh, before we have you sign off, do you have any advice that you would give uh, to another up and coming entrepreneur in Kansas? I, I don't know. I think the best advice is just go for it. I mean, it is scary, um, but it's very worthwhile. Um, you know, at the, like every morning when I wake up, I'm like, ah, I'm going to go to work and I'm going to have fun and I'm going to, you know, help people and um, that feels great. And then at the end of the day, I really just feel proud of, of, of the work I've done throughout the day. And, um, you know, there's a lot of projects that are on the horizon that I'm really excited about. And so that kind of keeps me going. Um, yeah. And I just, I, you know, starting your own business is a very worthwhile endeavor. And I, if anyone has any questions about doing it, I'm an open book and I would love to to help anyone, so just do it. <laughs>